Apostle Justice Lamini, who is coming from the pulpit of Africa, the kingdom of Swaziland, is anointed to bring to the nation and the world over powerful, life-altering, Bible-based deliverance and breakthrough messages through the power of the Holy Spirit. Refuse a less life. Refuse a struggling life. Call for the abundant life. Take it by force. What are you waiting for? Follow Apostle Justice Blessing D on this channel every Sunday at 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. and begin to live victoriously. His powerful sermons are also available on YouTube. Listen to simple yet effective teachings that bring about renewed faith and your life will never remain the same. Welcome to our program. This is Apostle Justice. I greet you, dear viewer there at home. Thank you so much for taking time to follow our program on this powerful channel. I know your life is moving upward and forward because Apostle Justice is a teacher of the word. He is an equipper, meaning a clomisa, so that you know how to stand your ground and fight the good fight of faith. Because on our program, The Victorious Life, we teach you how to live the victorious life. Why? Because Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. And the Bible also tells us that all those who are born of God, they overcome. Truly speaking, I want you to overcome. From this month of, 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 of July going up to December in the coming years, now that you are connected to Apostle Justice, it must be a given thing. It must be a given thing. With a valley, you shall prosper. You shall live victorious. You shall do well. It cannot be otherwise. Because the Bible says God wants us to prosper in all things. Let us go to my sermon of today. It's a very straight to the point sermon. Get somewhere where you can write or record the sermon. Let us go for this.
today we are going to tackle a subject I've not tackled, I remember since the beginning of the year, we've not done it in depth, in detail. We are talking about the correct faith. The faith for getting your miracles from God. It's a very, very important subject. Because the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that without faith you can't please God. So today we are tackling a very important matter concerning a Christian. It says without faith you can't please God. It says it's impossible. The translators of this verse did their best to translate it in English like this. But the original rendition it says without applying or practicing the faith that God requires he will never do anything for you this teaching that I'm doing today now it will deliver you from all frustrations and worries. You will always transcend or rise above the challenges of this life. Understanding faith is what makes living a life of dominion possible. Look. Write it down. When God said, let them have dominion, it is faith who makes it possible for you to always be above your problem. It's very tragic and very unfortunate that many Christians are living a life of endless worry, endless frustration, endless disappointment, endless despondency. You know, they are never happy. It makes the reality that is proclaimed by John, first John 5, 4, pie in the sky. It means something that is unreachable to many. John says in 1 John 5, 4, Little children, I have written unto you this thing, that ye may know that the truth is in Christ, and that nothing is hid from God. In the same verse in 1 John 5, 4. It says because every child of God is able to defeat this world. It means simply put for you or paraphrased every child of God is able to conquer all the conditions we face in this world. HIV AIDS is there, cancer is there, diabetes is there, car accidents are there, witchcraft is there, all the conditions of this life. Because it does not mean that once you become a Christian then you are exempt from these troubles. Jesus talking about this matter in John 16.33 said in this world you shall encounter many challenges you shall face many tribulations meaning people you trust will break your heart people you relied on will disappoint you you will face the misfortune of losing your job you will be discovered with sickness 
kuzuru. You will be bewitched maybe. Uloyo na gloyo. You will be hated for no reason. Wenyanya lwelite. You will your relationships may break. Bulde lwane bako mnendeka mkiti. He said you will face many tribulations. Uya upegana na kitu shalom. He used a very strong word tribulation. Wa seven isa gel kamali kulu kutu 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 kutu. It means diverse kinds of afflictions. Tintobon shobo teksasele. He said but hold your heart. Wa se goto wakere. Remain confident. Ukube ke njalo kutu kutu. I Jesus also face the same. Mobe namne njesu. But I overcame, and you shall overcome. Can you shout hallelujah, son? Hallelujah. So we are born again not to be defeated. We are born again to be different. Oh, I declare you shall be different. So he says there. Every child of God, let's go to first John 5 4. Then we will now hit the ground running, we'll just you know shoot forward. I'll give you the very vital nuggets of this subject. It says every child of God is able. Now, I like the translators of the good news version. The way they presented it, it's so, it's so striking. It's so simplified. It says every child of God is able to defeat the problems of this world. Oh my God, let me just preach to you, you are able. No matter what problem you are facing, you have all it takes to conquer it. You have all it takes to rise above it. It means whatsoever you are believing God for. Now that you are a child of God, it is possible for you. So stop being stressed. Become positive. Become confident that the situation you are in now, you have got power to come out of. Hallelujah. Amen. He's able to defeat this world. We are now we are going to go into Greek. It means when you are a child of God, a technon. Because a child of God is a technon. Technon means the produced one. I have been produced by God now. I may have the similarities of my father and my mother, but I walk as a God produced. The Bible says now we are technons of God. It begins there. Hallelujah. Amen. So as a technon of God, you overcome. That word overcome in the Greek is nike. It means you prevail. So the makers of the shoe called Nike, they prevail in the running shoe market. So you are a technon, write it down. Who nike the cosmos by pistis? Did you hear what I've said? Say I'm a technon. I nike, which is overcome the cosmos. The cosmos is the world with its people, with the conditions and the happenings. We nike the cosmos by pistis. Oh, Amen. What is pistis? It is faith. Not just faith. But active faith. Stubborn faith. Unwavering faith. It means we face every problem. Knowing that at the end we win. Am I helping you? Hallelujah. Amen. So it says you will conquer all the troubles of this world by one supernatural force, write it down, called faith. Hey, we will dissect faith now. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. Let's get to know what is this faith. Because now we are told without faith, God is not happy with you. We are also told without faith you shall be frustrated by the problems of this world. Do you want to be frustrated? Shout and say no and never. And I declare from today you will not be frustrated because you are a techno. You negate the cosmos by pistis. Say yes Lord. So let's go to Hebrews chapter 11. 
Before we go to Hebrews chapter 11, let me make this explanation. It says without faith you can't please God. And it says the victory is our faith. When you rewind to Romans chapter 1 verse 17. The Bible says. We who are justified. Who are justified who are now called the righteous of God. We shall live by faith. Now. That statement simply means we shall deal with all matters of this life applying the force of faith. So it means faith is what keeps us going. No matter who does what to us, no matter what they discover in our bodies, we keep on moving forward, propelled and galvanized by the force of faith. Oh, say thank you, Jesus. Jesus spoke some challenging, inspiring, controversial words. If you read it in the New King James, Mark 9, verse 23, before he spoke those words, he spoke another striking word or he made a striking statement. In Mark 11, 22, he said, yeah, have faith in God. That word faith in the, in the Greek is pistis. So you are saying have pistis in God. We are going to dissect the pistis. You will see it very short. So here in Mark 9, verse 23, here is a man. He has his son. He has his son. This son from the time he was born was a victim of epilepsy. The boy would shrink and fall. He would foam on the mouth, sweat and, and shrink. The man had taken him to different avenues for help. One day he brought him to Jesus in desperation. The dis he, he, first, he first took him to the disciples. The, the disciples prayed for him. him. The spirit never left. Lo mo lo because I'm sure they also did not know what kind of spirit. And then the man brought him to Jesus. This time the man was teary. He was like crying in desperation. Jesus spoke these words to him. When the man was crying and saying to Jesus, if you can do anything, please help. Jesus said, I don't like this thing. What do you mean, please help? Heaven does not help work like this. Heaven works by short terms. You get what you ask for. You get what you believe in. And he said to him, If you can believe, Jesus of Nazareth, this statement is big. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Now, here he uses a very strong word. That word believe in the Greek is pistio. It means a firm, unshakable trust and reliance on somebody. Jesus of Nazareth. Pistillo talks of my God expecting something to happen according to expectation. Pistillo is not what many people think. When Jesus said, if you can believe, all things will be possible. You see, this is a chair. I know this chair before. I've sat on it. And I was able to sit. So when I go to that chair to sit, I don't pray. I go there by Pistillo. I know the chair is there. And I know when I sit, I will sit. My reliance on the chair cast no doubt in my mind. I come to sit here knowing I will sit. 
So Jesus says, yes, if you can have that kind of faith, now, that, that kind of reliance on the infallibility of the word of God, on the reliability of the promises of God, there is no miracle that you will never get. That is what he was talking about. Enrich your life in 2019 and beyond by getting Vital Life Transforming Bible-based teachings by Apostle Justice. Now you too can live a life of victory each day by reading the Daily Devotional Prayer Manual, Never Stop Praying, Thessalonians 5.17, a ministry tool of the victorious and better life ministry of Apostle Justice. Conquer sickness in your life with ejecting sickness from your life. Now you can lay your hands on the CD, connecting yourself to an anointed servant of God, as well as the captivating CD, Daily Walk with the Holy Spirit. Also available is Things to Do to Win in Life, and the Life Transforming How to Get a Breakthrough in Finances, and also the Must Have CD, Terminating Negative Paternal and Maternal Hereditary. All these great reads, CDs and DVDs are available at the Better Life Center, number 20 Ernest Oppenheimer Street, Abrimba, Johannesburg, today. Jambule la kakulu tiklo ngo Apostle Justice Mbilo Niam Kwa ku last year ngo 2018 ngo September Bendinge na mali beku rongo nje yongindo nipange la ndinga iboni maliam Kwa ku Wednesday morning Diteta no tiklo, ndisiti tiklo ngo ndia give up and diza ulala iloto Wateta na moe ngoele wati sula iloto Because seku kufuchane nga pambili Dakon ba andiazi wa utikute tukuti nika isiti seku kufuchane nga pambili Nyani tendi ye kwa tapa Pawe pezu ulu nda tibana ni friend ya amu isiti ya kwa Apostle Justice Nda ikapa nda ya ufika kwa mpayana Ever since then u Apostle Justice e Shumayela e Sbeki Zanda E buza umdu inga kia ke unenga kia ndoni nda kaza dinenga kia zmali Mali ya mdia pangela antiboni But u Apostle Justice wae wa ndibeki sanda Mven koko izi ndo aziza nge zpinde zifane na kala Beku kubi enji nyamu singe na kuchia na bandwa na bamu singe na Ando, but ever since o Apostle Justice wabeki sanga um, watu tiko uza unenze lineba, uza unisikele lutiko uza baraiti ama chala, yonge njindo, yonge ndawa itetayo kum, ndia ibona yenze kakakulu kuhle endiniam, abandwa na bamba, raiti baya pasa, iskole nbebe nga pasika kuhle, si safari shange depression yonge londo nje konge nje kuhle endiniam guko, ansena wama chala, si atyange beide Amen. Amen. That is the word of God. Na loge izulga Jehovah. Me nangi funu kubona wenu ngoba upumelela. Unga stress waizimo. Unga be depressed. Unga be frustrated. Unga be confused. Because wata lelo upilimbilo yogu ngoba yogu engamela. U Jehovah ugu holela egu ngobeli. God leads you to victory. Praise the name of the Lord. This is Apostle Justice. Thank you for following me on this program here on this powerful channel, 1KZN. Hallelujah. It is powerful. It is serious. And keep on watching me on this channel same time on this day. I'll be coming to give you the strategies, easy key, the keys for living victoriously because U Jehovah ufuna to pile victoriously. And also once you see See on the screen who to Apostle Justice is coming to a, to a city near you. Make sure you come and see me so that things will be on a city. 
imahalo hambi uma melu lalele so that you begin to live victoriously because from this time going forward now that you are connected to apostle justice your days of crying are over amalanga ukuthi bese luba frustrated uhlupheka they are over because uNkulunkulu engimkhonzayo will give you serious victories in the remainder of this year god bless you and now before i sign out the numbers are on the screen you can call and ushayo buzu ukuthi how can i meet apostle justice when is apostle justice coming to our city and they will tell you praise the name of the lord and also the account number is on the screen our fnb account please support us so that we can go spreading this way together if you stand up to support me my god will stand up to support you if you stand up to support me my god will stand up to support you if you support the work of god god support your own things because god is a god who blesses people who are supporters of his work thank you so much shalom shalom may the lord bless you may the lord cause his face to shine upon you may you do well in the name of jesus christ amen